always up to me. I like having this power. This show doesn't get started until I say. So tell me, what are we talking about today? Today on Keep the Geek Bros podcast, episode 169, we've got Disney Plus and Hulu roll out password sharing restrictions, and it's not going good. Introducing GameSent. That's right, right? Game sent. Fantastic. PlayStation begins to uh, begins massive layoffs of and game cancellations. This isn't going well. Naked Gun gets a reboot starring Liam Neil- 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 Liam Nielsen, which is, because you spelled his name wrong. Is that Neeson? Yeah. Is Liam Neeson? Liam Neeson. Naked Gun gets a reboot with Liam Neeson, which I don't know. Is he? Is he? Do you? Is he funny? Like okay. Wendy's trying dynamic pricing and other restaurants are responding. King's Makers and Silent Breath game trailer reactions. The American Society of Magical Negroes movie re- trailer reaction. This will be our last episode. <laughs> Netflix's, 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 Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender hot take. Tokyo Revengers season one anime hot take. And Dune Part 2, a hot take. All this and more in this week's episode. Stay tuned. In a world where geeking out never looks so good... Incredibly sexy men will rise for your auditory pleasure. Here's your host, keeping up with the Geek Bros. Yes, yes, keep it the Geek <laughs> Lamp. Yes, yes, keep it the Geek Bros podcast. I'm your host, Vibe, and with me is my co-host and other hosts, and actually we're partners in crime and we're equals, Man Man, and we are the hosts of a family podcast, allegedly. All right. So, um, what are we, wait, what, what's going on? <laughs> what's what's See, going on with it, us? Oh, it doesn't just happen with me. We are so infrequent with this, with this, every time it's like dusting off the, the rust. So, understand. What's going on with us? Meh. That's what's going on with us. But... But besides the man, there is a potential. The artist formerly known as Joe Taro um, has given us uh, a potential three-part Ready Player Geek Bros special episodes called, um, the game is called Hell Divers 2. So we are seeing if it's going to come to Xbox anytime soon. If not, we are going to absolutely do the first PC stream of gaming. And featuring Joe Taro because he plays every day because he has time to play every day instead of joining any of the podcasts. Mm-hmm. So sad, right? It's very sad, mm-hmm. and not just this part. He didn't just abandon this podcast. That's so probably know who Joe Taro is anymore. Anyway, so that's it. So look forward to that. We're gonna work on it. Definitely work on it. I. It's still slow go for the uh, web series episodes because of the constraints that I'm having with with the equipment. Um, that will either be rectified or it won't, or it'll just take a while. But eventually those web, web episodes will be coming out because it is it is less um, hardware consuming power. I don't know how to use the jargon to produce this podcast, which usually is longer, but it's just a drag and drop and render. And you guys have no idea how hard it was for me to render the videos for the last podcast. That's how much problem my, my, my Mac is having. So um, it, it's, it's a problem. It has to be freezing cold in here right now for this to work. Bear with us. They're coming soon i probably just i probably just added another trailer just so you guys can see it and uh so that's it so that's what the geek bros uh we're, we're getting there eventually we're gonna do stuff and stuff. More, stuff. more stuff all right gent what have you been geeking out this week uh so mm. uh, family podcast okay family podcast no, but what I don't even remember what I was doing um yesterday. Um <clears throat> I am something was happening and I forgot what was happening, but it was happening and I was so happy that it was happening. What about video game? 
We're talking about TV. I'm geeking about Tokyo Revengers. Yes, I'm going to be reviewing uh, season one. Geeking out about it because it is it is the um, first new pot for new podcast, first new anime that I have watched randomly. I was it was um, it was recommended to me by my Filipino queen, and she gave me a great idea, and I looked. <laughs> And I looked it up. It's it's great. It's a it's a great. It, it caught my attention. I love it. I love it. I love. Well, I love the geeking out about it. I love the idea of it. I'm gonna give you a, more of a hot take later on uh, in this episode. But if it it gave me the feels. It's. I will explain exactly what it is later. The story is great. It's it's got a time travel thing to it. The mechanics is 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 sound ish. It's kind of it's kind of like an anime version of the butterfly effect. That's actually the best way to say it. And believe it or not, you know, people didn't like it. That's a guilty pleasure of mine, The Butterfly Effect. I love that movie. So when I saw this idea, I was like, yes, the I love first it. first one. There was more than one? With Ashton Kutcher? No. <laughs> with who? Some other random dude, I forgot. Associated with Ashton Kutcher? Or just, or just somebody just happened to have the power? Somebody who just had the power, I guess. But yeah, it came out with another one. So this is like Life is Strange, right? Like Life is Strange, like, like part two had nothing to do with part one, apparently. I didn't watch it, so I can't say neither it, it was a part of it or not. So Life is Strange is a video game. Right. So, so you didn't play it. You said I didn't watch it. No, no, no. I mean, I didn't watch the second Butterfly. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Put me on blast on here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're just like, I didn't watch it. I'm like, I'm talking about video game. <laughs> Listen, because look, guys, let me tell you something right now. We came up with this outline like, like negative 30 minutes ago, and he put on there, uh, was it called King's? Uh, Kings, Kings Makers. Kings Maker. Kings. So when I when I put he put King Makers, Kings Makers. So I looked up Kings Maker and I found a Kings Maker, a movie trailer. I put that in there originally, but then I read it and he said game trailers, and I'm just like, this can't be right. So I went I went searching, put King Maker game trailer and found it. So yeah, put the S in the wrong place. I didn't put any yeah. S at all. Oh, whatever. Took the S out of King Makers. S I S. So okay, so you don't remember what you're geeking out about. I don't remember what I was geeking out about. I'm actually looking at stuff right now, trying to see what. what Fantastic! So, without further ado, episode 169. That's what she said. Starts first. now. But first, subscribe. So, so, but first, subscribe to our podcast. Leave a comment, share, review, tell your family and friends, and maybe we'll do this more often because it's the right thing to do. Oh. There's an audience. We'll be here. You figured it out? Yeah. What was it? Uh, even though it came out like two weeks ago, Shogun. I heard about Shogun. I heard it was what the jet, the samurai's version of Game of Thrones. Right. It's on I, Netflix. It's on Hulu. It's on Hulu. It's a Hulu exclusive. Yes. So it's gonna be on Disney Plus then. Maybe. I should... <laughs> <laughs> Disney Plus. Disney Plus needs all the help it can get. Yes, it can. All right. So Ooh. we're moving on to the fresh scent. Geek Bros approved movies and series of the week. I don't know if we're doing that. Are we wait, doing wait, that? Wait, we did something. I did something. He did do something. I did something. He saw okay. it. He I, saw I, it. I saw he something saw it. And I wanted he to saw watch it. it and watch it. Oh, Roy. Uh, so we're going to go with uh, games that came out this week. Uh, uh, Death of a Wish. It came out on the Switch and the PC on March 11th, which was Monday. Uh, Contra Operation Gauga for the PS5. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Switch, <laughs> <laughs> Xbox One Switch and PC came out on the twelfth. Uh, Goblin Stone, PC, March twelfth. He saw it. I saw it. Uh, uh, Mars After Midnight, uh, March twelfth. Uh, I love Mars's success in Adesco. Yeah, and Slovenia. I love my Slovenian people. Yeah, go. What I don't know. PC, March twelfth. Uh, Paint. By the, numbers, paint the town red VR. Uh, on the quest PlayStation VR 2. Oh, they're giving quest releases now, yeah. That's great. PC VR and uh, March 14th. Uh, uh, Orion Haste PS4. Oh, five. Captain, my captain. Oh, Captain, my captain. Yep, Xbox One uh, uh, Series S and X and the Switch on the 15th. And last but not least, Outcast A New Beginning. For PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC on the 15th. Uh, moving on to movies. Uh, I had me a second ago. I don't know. There we go. Um, I saw it. I saw it too, I think. I don't know anymore. Uh, one of them being, where did it go? 
I just lost it. There it is. Uh, don't care about that. Don't care about that. We only do what we care about. Uh, on Friday the 15th, uh, Arthur the King starring, uh, what's his name? A guy, Mark Wahlberg. Uh, That's from, a movie? From Boston. Yeah, Arthur the King. Wait, but it's not in theaters. It's coming out in theaters, sir. It's uh, basically uh, Mark Wahlberg is a marathon runner person, guy thing, person, place, uh, girl thing, uh -huh. woman. And uh, he goes on a long trip somewhere, like you know, this long, like a marathon, marathon thing. Okay, I was gonna say elongated. Um, a long, he, he went on, he went on an elongated, elongated job. job. <laughs> but it's like a team thing or whatever. And I'm uh, sorry, a team, a team building, team, marathon. team building, long, elongated it job. Was, HR was involved. Um, they called me to the office yesterday. Anyway, so because he saw it, he saw it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And on one of the stops, he sees this dog and uh, he feeds this dog and it, the dog then follows him throughout the rest of the marathon and they can't figure out what happened. At least that's what is in the trailer. Anyway. So wait, but wait, 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 wait. But what? So how does that turn into King Arthur's Court? I, this, it's, I didn't say King Arthur's Court. What did you say? King Arthur the King is what I said. So he's rearranging the words. That, I, I saw this movie. It was called Black Knight with, uh, um, what's his name? Hey, anyways, uh, next a king, a king, king of his court. <laughs> next movie, uh, Robin Hood and Tights. <laughs> you know, Dave Chappelle was in that movie. I didn't realize yes, I it was. I didn't I realize remember. he was in that movie. Uh, I thought he was annoying as fuck. Now I love the guy. <laughs> I have to watch that movie to appreciate him. Now, God, God rest, uh, what's his name that just passed away? The The king. The in 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 men in tights, the king. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, in the movie, I remember the movie Robin Hood men in tights. Yes, the selfish king or whatever. Jeffrey Epstein. No, but anyway, uh, that guy, that was the. King oh yeah, Robert. Judd Judd Nelson. No, his name is not Judd. It's Richard Lewis. I saw what I said. Richard yeah, Lewis. He passed away. He I was think. a. He was an actor. Oy vey, you know, and all the acting he was like. Anyways, we went off track. But he, he died, he died early though, right? How he, old was he? He died like last week or no, he young. He, 76. Oh, okay. Somebody died recently that was like super young. Oh, uh, and it was an actor. <laughs> A porn star? Not her. <laughs> she was 22. Not her. It was another actor. I thought that died at like either 36 or 46. It was super, super recently. Yes. Possibly. It doesn't I, matter. I post a bunch of this stuff. All right. What's Anyways, new with the next one? Next, no, no, I'm almost done. Uh, next one is Knox Goes Away, uh, starring Michael Keaton and James Marsden. Don't ask me. Oh, and Al Pacino. Don't ask me anything about it. Um, straight, straight, straight to DVD? Uh, no. Straight to streaming? No, That's the new it, thing now. It, Sorry. It's not straight yeah. to DVD anymore. Straight to streaming. Straight to streaming. Um, and then this Friday also, the American Society of Magical Negroes. We're going to look at the trailer today. Yeah, we are. Um, we are. We're just watching why people get set back. Yeah. Snack Shack. All uh, right. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know. What Hungry as balls. Uh, I don't know any of those people. Um, one Life. Uh, again, I don't is know. That, is that Bob, the Bob Molly one? No, that came out already. Oh. Uh, Exuma. I don't even know. I'm just reading off stuff now. Uh, Trolls Band Together will begin streaming on Peacock. Uh, Friday, um, just so you know. Uh, Love Lies Bleeding, don't know what that is. Uproar, don't know what it is. I don't know what any of these movies are. I really don't care. It's new in the gaming world. We're now going to bust out King Kingsmakers, the official trailer. I don't know what you're going through. Uh, I'm depressed. <laughs> All right, where is it? All right, we're going to try and do this again. Oh, in a limited series called Manhunt on Apple TV. I know, that's right. All right, again. Kingsmakers, the official announcement trailer reaction. We are going to... Look at it now. She had a screen, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about we, it because we saw it. Because we saw it. We saw it. I saw a clip of it, and I was like, "Oh, this looks interesting." Did it work? Is this? Is this? I'll be sharing everything. I don't even know. It says you are screen shared. I know. I'm gonna I stop. You, I'm gonna stop. I don't know who you're screen sharing too, but you're sharing it with somebody. Somebody's watching. Somebody. Somebody. It's not me. I think. Did I lose it now? Where did it go? What did you do? See, this is what happened. Oh. I can't minimize Zoom while you're recording the meeting. Of course not. Uh, sorry, guys, because, you know, I'm used to, I'm not used to doing this in person anymore, so. I've been forcing him. Shh, because he's short. Because I'm short. Sure. He's short. All right. Sorry, guys. There it is. That's the screen. Sure. 
Yeah. I don't know. Now I'm going to share the screen, but I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to share the Your whole screen. screen. That one? Okay, I got you. I'm going to share the whole screen. Everything? And then I'm going to maximize that, that got you. right? And then I'm going to I'm gonna increase this. I can't increase this size. So you guys can see us bigger and better. There it is. Well, wow, I like bigger and better. Because we're better and bigger. What? What? Huh? What? All right. Oh! Um, this isn't working out the way I put in there. <laughs> That's as big as it gets. That's what she said. Let me not even start that, miss. <laughs> I thought you got it. All right, it's the best we can do. Cool stuff, yo. So we'll put, we're going to put it right there. And here we go. Go. I tell you, he built our village into a city. He's the one who trained our army. He grew us into an empire. I like this. If you think you can stop him. It's a PC game, I assume. Back to the future, group. Oh, All right, I want to play this. Right? Medieval times, and, and, and you're here there with futuristic weapons. Yep. This is the kind of Dynasty Warriors that I want to play. Oh yeah, I want to play this. I'm not. I'm not. I want to play this. I need to play this. This has got like an ash person, an ash army of, of darkness feel to it. So this is like a, a, a RTS and a third person shooter together. No! No! What? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely right now. Is this is this ready? Can I buy this now? No. Right now. Absolutely. Right now. Now, see, I don't always pick bad ones. That is beautiful. Are you crazy? That was great. Told you. No, I gotta play that game. I have to play that game. I need that game right now. When is that coming out? Uh, I forgot. Uh, doo -doo -doo. yeah, it's, you need you need to figure that out. I need to play that game it's right coming out. It, oh, so it now. doesn't have a release date yet. What? Um, but it's coming out this year for the PS5, Windows, and Xbox S and X. Can we can we please stream this when we first play? That's that looks like a lot of fun, like a whole whole lot of fun. So yeah, definitely definitely. And you guys know that I, I it takes a lot to because I'm cynical and I'm dead inside. It takes a lot to, to get me. And when I saw that helicopter <laughs> dropping like all kinds of hoopas on these guys, that is it. I need to play this game. And I would love to play it. Can you imagine me and you just like go around, like, go around? Oh my. God. Yeah, there's no release date as of yet. That looks um, like a lot of fun. Oh man, I have got to play that game. I'm telling you, if, if it was out, I was gonna like when we're done, download that bad boy and play it. Like that looks like a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. It's got a Dynasty Warriors meets Ash and the Army of D uh, Army of Evil feel to it. Yeah, you can. You know that movie, right? Third person and shooter mode. Wow. See, but that it also, awesome. but it also had that RTS. Shift a bunch of mm -hmm. things like that command and conquer kind of style as well. Like I love that idea. Top down strategy. There you go. Str str like a strategy. And I used to love strategy war games. That's got a. That's amazing. See? Single player and multiplayer. Look at. That, oh bro. man, come on, come on. Yeah, buddy. I probably might, but I, I probably might like it better on the PC only because it's because of the real time strategy mm -hmm. part of it. It's easier just to like take your mouse and drag them than it is when you use a controller, or do both. Like you know, what I'm saying like maybe I, what I'll do is I'll. You know, doesn't you can get like a keyboard mouse for yeah. the Xbox? Maybe you get a keyboard. Maybe, maybe this is gonna upgrade me for the Xbox. Ooh. This is a game I have to play again. Ooh. All right, we're gonna move on to Silent Breath, official gameplay trailer, uh, review reveal. So this one mm -hmm. is interesting to me because the game 
is listening to your mic. It's thinking? No, it's it thinking. listens to your mic. That's why the game is called Silent. What is it? Silent, Silent Breakers? Silent something. This is the right game? This is the right video? Because yeah. it looks weird to me. Okay, let's check it out. You tell us your, what's so groundbreaking about this. It's listening to your mic. Okay. Is it a VR game? I don't think so. Looks like it can be. E collect missing poster. <laughs> like I know is like I know it's not oh. Blair Witch? Blair Witch. This looks really good. Like, yeah. I thought it actually was like one of those old video, like video games, choose your own adventures, like 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 VHS looking thing. Come on, bro. This looks really good. Give me, give me, give me some. Give me some. some. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give you some. All right, don't worry about some, it. Some. Whoa, whoa, family podcast. Oh, family podcast. Sorry, right, family podcast. This is like a found footage game. Is that what this is? Collect missing poster. Okay. Nineteen ninety nine. That's the look they're going. What? What in the Jesus H Christ am I? Are we looking at? Don't give me a jump scare. Don't give me a jump scare. I don't like jump scares. No jump scares. I don't like jump scares. Anybody that knows me knows I don't like scary movies. You know, it's not a thing for me unless it's got a really good story. No jump scares. <laughs> I mean, anybody who's listening to us on a podcast it's just this guy roaming around the woods it looks pretty it looks vhs he looks really really good and it's just like it's 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 really unnerving the game is unnerving the gameplay fully right now is unnerving like i'm i'm scratching the heck out of my nails because yep <laughs> this is a hell of a trailer it's not telling me anything Is that is that is that? Do you know anything about a siren head? It's a it's a thing in creepy pasta. What siren head? No idea what you're talking about. Oh my god, that is so creepy yet it's so so gorgeous looking. Right. Every now and then I find a good one and I and I and I play it here and Cause, I bring it cause, to your cause, attention. Cause you have to win. Holy fuck. Mm. Holy holy shit. Oh my god. But who's whimpering? Like us or the, the, the character? I hate it! I hate it! I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say you would not be very good at this game. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm a. What's it called? Are you a scary guy or a jumpy guy? I'm, yeah. I'm jumpy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I I grew up in the hood, and you know, all I heard was pop, 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 pop. It's like, oh, no. So then you should be used to it. So no, no, no. Some people, some people numb to it. Some people get resilient. Some people get PTSD. What do you think I got? So tell me about this game. What, what's so revolutionary about it? Other than the fact that it looks looks amazing with the with the graph of the motif, it's going for the whole found footage nineteen ninety three aesthetic. It's got a real Blair Witch Project feel to it. So meets we, Slender Man, right. meets, meets creepy creepy pasta. Like it's it's um. Uh, you said it picks up your mic. Well, apparently, it picks up your mic, and you're supposed to like stay quiet the entire time you're playing the game. Because all those creepy monsters, uh -huh. they react to the sounds coming from the mic. So you're, it gives you like the feeling of being in the game. So you're walking around the woods and you get. 
So it's like it's so 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 it also is like uh not what is it called whisper silent you know that movie Yeah, 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 yeah. Quiet Quite the quiet also place. like quiet with the quiet place yeah so it's like that as well and maybe a little bit of Bird Box I don't know they they, they throw a bunch of crap in there I don't I never watched Bird Box There's an interesting twist, however. Don't scream. Oh, don't scream. That's not to me. Sorry. Next thing. Quiet place. What is this called? Silent breath. Silent right. breath. I I make things up and I forget what they are. So yeah. So that's basically the point of the game, which I found intriguing because. It looks great. Yeah, it does. And the idea that you're you're it listens to your microphone, you would die. I would never. I mean, you, I I would, would never. I would no. I wouldn't be able to get through. I couldn't get through the trailer. <laughs> I couldn't get through the trailer sitting next to my best buddy, in with with studio lighting, while recording with two lovely young ladies, you know, my baby. murmuring his babies, my baby. and still. Still, I got jump scared. That I, I, that's pathetic. I think the last really good movie that that I watched that I was okay with jump scaring. I don't know which one came out first, either either The Ring or Signs. Those are the last ones that I, that I could Signs handle. Signs really got you, bro. Signs was was Signs wasn't scary. Mm -hmm. Signs was suspenseful. I, suspenseful, yes, but yeah, scary. It was yeah, it was suspenseful, but it had jump scares in it. No. Yeah, 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 of course they did. They That's always right. have jump scares. Right. So it was suspenseful. But the ring was was suspenseful too. It wasn't really well, was it scared? Was it considered horror? I don't know. What it was, I guess. Anywho. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, am I gonna play it? Fuck a duck, no. <laughs> am I gonna watch another trailer of it? Fuck a duck, no. I just squealed on the podcast in front of everybody. Okay, I'm a man. I can I can admit that. Yeah. Sure. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, it is what it is. All right, we're gonna move on to uh well, actually, yeah. So Nintendo Switch. Oh, that's at the end. You want to do it now, or you want to do it at the end, where, where it usually is? What the trailer review? Uh, we'll do it right now. Let's do it now. We're already in in that spot. Let's do it now. All right, movie trailer review, and this is gonna be a great way to round out all these reactions. Um, we're gonna check out the American Society of Magical Negroes. Negroes, and the screen. I'll show you guys right now if you can see this. Um, this right here is exactly how I feel inside. He, his, his facial expression is exactly how I feel inside that, that I'm watching this, this trailer, this, this exists. Um, let's go Negroes. Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. Awesome. I know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. Watching you walk through a room full of white people was the most painful thing I've ever seen. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to take you to a job interview. There's a recruiting class starting right now, and we've got to get you a minute. Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. It's easier to say. What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Sure. White people, when they feel uncomfortable. White people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. That's why we fight white discomfort every day. Because the happier they are, the safer we are. The name is a little updating, maybe like magical black people, or I guess that doesn't seem very Get ready. Oh, well, your first client is a Jason Mutt. His morale is far too low. Hey, hey. I was hoping there was a station right next to it. Oh, is this one looking for? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually fun and weirdly relaxing. It's like being a secret agent with knowing the danger. I'm Lizzie. Nice to meet you. Cheers. She's great. Yeah, she's cool. Okay, come on, man. She's smart. Funny. I know what you were doing going on about her. You're trying to set this up. No, no, no. That's not what I was doing. You cannot have a relationship with Lizzie now because if you don't put Jason first, everyone's magic will fail. I've always felt like it's my job to make white people feel comfortable, and here it literally is. But maybe it shouldn't be. I got a great plan to ask her out, but I'm going to need your help. Do you think you can like work your magic? Hey, is he talking about me? Hey. Oh, wait, are you? She's she's attractive. Someone defied the society. Who was it? You didn't let her go like I told you. If you'd interfere with her or your client, you could have your memory erased. You won't even remember she existed. 
Even though we might never see each other again, I need you to know that what we had was real. I'm curious to see how you're going to make it out of all this. I'm only speaking because harsh part of my our audience listens and it's a lot of dead air. Hopefully I remember to cut out that dead air. So I, I apologize for that. But I'm I'm flabbergasted about about this trailer, flabbergasted about this the concept of this movie. How is apparently Hogwarts meets 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 black people? Meets the, the black in it. It means yeah, yeah. Hogwarts meets the color purple with a, with a, with, a, with just a kiss of the of the blackening, which I thought was the lowest part of of our culture was that movie. Yeah, um, I, I still haven't seen it. I'm not gonna me either. Me either. Um, I um, it's a bunch. It, it's so it's not really about the society. It's about the guy, and he's in love with a with a with a with a, with a white woman, and. Say it like that. Like and he's the and he's um <clears throat> he's tasked with being like the fairy god mother, father, a person, the fairy god negro <laughs> of this white man. And part of making this white man better is to get him with the white woman that he has a white crush on. Wanna hear the Yes, I do. I absolutely do. Please it, read it. It says a young man gets recruited into a secret society of magical black people who dedicate their lives to making white people's lives easier. Although initially enamored with his new powers, he begins to question the value of using supernatural means to do the very thing he's felt obligated to do his whole life. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? Who wrote this? I don't know. Who, Tomatoes. who wrote this? No, no. Who wrote the movie? Who wrote Who's the, the screen player? Oh, the Who's the story by? It's... I don't give a damn. About the... Who wrote this? Who's... <clears throat> Why? Why is this happening? Written, Written by Kobe Libby. Lib Libby? Kobe, Kobe. Who the hell is Kobe Libby? Kobe Libby. An American co a comedian. Uh-huh. Sure. He's a cast member of the opposition and whatever and blah blah He's blah. blah. Comedy Central. He's appeared in television series as Doubt Transparent Girls, Madam Secretary. Hollywood, I have a story that I co-wrote with my brother called Scorned. Um, we, you know, we're gonna call it, we're gonna rename it. Bittersweet Memories. It's there's three volumes. Uh hit us up. Because if this can make it into as a movie, right? And basically it's just a love story, a by the books number love story. You know what is it? You ever seen the adjustment bureau? Yeah. It's got an adjustment bureau vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Just with segregation. Yeah. And and racism. and racism. Semi-racism. Yeah. It's racism. We are a bunch of magical black people and we're here to make white, white people, people happy. happy so technically they're still slaves and they're still Perfect. and they're so, slaves with magical and powers. so and i'm already gonna see the story he him going against the grain by not making by, by prioritizing himself over a white man is gonna is gonna change everything and now the magical black people are gonna want to make black people happy or both 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 races you know what i'm saying or maybe all the races yeah there's there's nothing too. I can't I can't believe this movie's a thing. I want to hate watch it. It's not that serious. Just you know, have fun and blah 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 blah. No, it's it's it's. You didn't need if you wanted to tell this story about a black guy and a white guy after a white girl. You you didn't it didn't have to be this story. You could make this any other story. You can call it anything else. You didn't have to put a subplot of magical black people that whose sole purpose is to make white people happy. As if that's so. Um, yeah, I'm not watching this, and if I do, it'll be to hate watch it because it's a by the books number. There's nothing special about it. You know what? You know what got our attention? The name, the concept of yeah, it. Yeah, the, the name. I was just curious to see what <laughs> magical Negroes could be. What about. it meant, right? But all it's about <laughs> it's just a love story. It's just a love story. That's all it is. It's, it's a guy who wants girl who's gonna have to shit over another guy to get the girl. I had better, better, uh, better hopes for homeboy from Detective Pikachu. 
No, um, he was in Detective, he was in Detective Pikachu. That's 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 the thing. He was in Detective Pikachu. Which I, wasn't a good movie. No, but I, I I was hopeful that he would. And he was in Jurassic World, World or something. He was one of screaming them, yeah. like like up to yeah. top of his arms. This is his life. Congratulations, guy. Congratulations. You're setting our people back. And and come on, you're red bone at the very best. You're you're, you're pale. Let me stop. I'm not a colorist. <laughs> Justice Smith. That's his name. But no, just, just what Justice Smollett. Justice Smith. He looks like Juicy Smollett. Oh, isn't that a uh, who? One of the Smith relatives. Who? No, like, like who? Like, 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 like Smith Smith, Will Smith Smith. Like, I'm gonna slap your face, Will yeah. Smith. I don't think so. I hope not. Poor guy. All right, so we're gonna move on to Man Man's side piece. I'll bring up it. Bring it up for you right here. Do you want to read it from here? You want me to drag it over? What do you want? Uh, I'll read it from there. It's All right, cool. Uh, this article comes from HollywoodReporter.com, Disney and Hulu something. Okay, so um, I'm sure everybody's heard the bad news with this whole password sharing nonsense. I didn't. Um, so Disney and Hulu, obviously on the same broad umbrella spectrum, they've decided to follow Netflix's plan to crack down on this whole stupid nonsense. Um, the media giant has already updated subscriber agreements to Disney are for Disney Plus as well as Hulu to ban account sharing for new subscribers beginning January 25th earlier this year and for existing subscribers starting March 14th, which is like tomorrow. Um uh so on February, well, I don't really care. They lost money. Yay, whatever. What else is there? Well, I mean, here's the problem with that though, is that aren't they already losing money? So this just is not a good thing are they doing what netflix did where they're tracking your 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 location of you signing somewhere that you're not usually signed i believe in? that it's the same concept that they're going to do since you know netflix didn't really copyright it or anything so i think it's the same basis that they're going to do um yeah see paid sharing initiatives follow in the footsteps of streaming competitor to netflix which began as cr uh, password crackdown in the us of a uh in may of last year uh, the second quarter of the year, Netflix reported adding 5.9 million new subscribers and said that it had seen a limited number of account cancellations. So I'm guessing Disney thinks that this will be the same thing for them, not realizing that the crap that they have on their um, platform uh, doesn't compare to anything to Netflix. But we won't go there. Um So, yeah, while uh, Disney's is much smaller subscriber base, with 100.3 million core Disney Plus subscribers and 49.7 million at Hulu, uh, the company had a rough estimate for the potential borrowers out there and how it may contribute to their bottom line. It's always about their bottom line. But it's a business. It's supposed to be what you're about. They have a fiduciary responsibility to their investors. Of course. And their shareholders. Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery has yet to introduce password sharing crackdown or Max. However, the streaming service, which combines Discovery Plus content with HBO Plus only launched in May, and until recently, the management has been more concerned with the launch in addition to paying down the debt at the company. <laughs> so, yeah, nothing for us Max subscribers as of yet, but it's coming. No, um, nobody's sharing their Mac. Well, actually, it's not true because my friend Holly, she shared it with me for a while, and that's how I was able to watch all the cartoons, yep. the, the DC cartoons. The DC cartoons. Which are um, amazing. Amazing. But uh, yeah, so I mean, this this apparently is just going to be the norm from now on. Everybody's going to need to have their own account, uh, subscribe to their own nonsense. Although I am questioning because apparently you're supposed to be the way Netflix did it is you're supposed to pick or choose like a home base. So wherever your in internet provider is at home, that's supposed to be where it depicts your home base as and if anything outside that house tries to access your account it gets flagged however if you're an individual like me and you don't have a home base your home base happens to be your phone i don't know exactly how they're doing that which is how people are probably still getting away with the password sharing um don't quote me and don't sue me um but but send us free stuff send us free stuff anyways um but this seems to be how it's going to be done i'm pretty sure in the near future, they're going to figure a way how to do that with the cell phones and uh, devices. But this is going to be the norm. And on top of that, look for constant increases in price because that's going to happen. Streaming is going to take over cable. Cable's dying out. Cable's die uh, What do they call it? They're, they're bleeding. Are they really? 
cable yet. Do you know how many people are not they're not doing cable anymore because you can either stream, um, and and that's the other the that the down part of that. Streaming services are now adding ad features. Um, because before, why watch something on TV and cable when right. you can stream it without any of the interruptions yeah. and commercials? You can binge watch. Yep. But now you have to pay more to get rid of those ads that they are now putting on their low tier. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. And they're increasing in price like every two to three months. So this is just going to be the norm. So although cable is dying, streaming services have found a way to do the same thing cable did. Yeah. Cable bundled everything in one little price plan and you were overpaying for the amount of channels that you were getting that you never used. And now Netflix, for instance, is going to be doing the same thing. Who watches every single thing any of these streaming services have? Nobody does. You watch it for, shut up. You watch it for a particular set of shows, but not for every single thing. Uh -huh. And the price is just going to continue. No, to it's just, it's just you're going to have a a, a a smorgasbord. You have a buffet, and you choose your plate, and of the different streaming services for the different shows. <laughs> Instead of getting one lump sum, you pay for each individual plate. That's it. So it's a buffet by plate. You know, there's some places that have buffet. Like it's a, a, a cart type situation. Exactly. Yeah. So it's going from buffet. Where you get everything and you get you 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 charge for everything and you eat whatever you eat, but you're being charged for everything. Or that's what, you do a la carte where you pay you pay for each individual cart you eat. That which is what, more expensive. Uh, right. But that's what uh Blockbuster and Redbox were doing. You know, you paid for what you wanted and you returned the, the item back. Yeah, but that was way back in the day. Yeah, but that was and it that was, was destroyed by Netflix. It was destroyed by Netflix, and it was it absolutely was destroyed by Netflix. But that was that was true, but you're only paying what five, six, seven dollars. For, and you're paying for the one movie and you're good to go. You're not paying monthly for that same price and having to figure out what, what you're going to watch because you're paying for it or or, or waiting for it to come back. It's, it's whatever. Yeah, but you're never going to have an a la carte with them and they're, and they're, they're going to take over. No, it is. The, the, streaming, the streaming platforms in general are considered a la carte. That's what I'm saying. Well, a la carte for their brand of No, for, for everything. There. Because right. you have different different ideas and different stuff that you want to, to do, right? Or what don't want to watch. Some of it is on Apple Plus. Some of it is on Netflix. Some of it, so it's said, so you're not gonna get everything, but you're gonna get Apple Plus for this one show. You're gonna get Netflix for this one show. You're gonna get a Hulu for this one show. Which That's what I mean by Alucard. Hulu Plus is on. Got a lot of great shows. I was only watching um, Bender Snatch or no, whatever it's called. The, whatever the, the 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 video game thing with the, with the cute Asian Australian or whatever she was. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Um, that yeah, that show. I was watching it for that show, which I don't know if it's, if it came back again or if it's, or if it's finally over. And I was watching for all mankind. For all mankind was really, really good. But they have a as I'm saying, they have a lot of really good shows with a lot of A plus actors on there. Not like Netflix, where it's like, oh, that show was great. Who are these people? Yeah. But you know, whatever. Apple has Apple, Apple. has the money. They have the money. Apple has yeah. the beef. They got the budget. All right, we're gonna move on to the next topic. Game sent. Article comes from IGN.com. Take it away, Manny Man. So this one's Manny Man. Manny, 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 Manny. Wish death on No me. one wishes death on me yet, right? You better not, because I'll come for you, son. Pondy River. I'm looking at you, Ponda Bank. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this device um I found very interesting. I saw I, I didn't read too much into it, but I noticed that it's an AI, it's a new AI device. That allows you play games. Wait, where you wait, smell what? Right, where you smell what the rock is cooking. Game Scent is is a new AI yeah, device, device that lets you smell, smell game, game worlds game while playing. playing. So you're fully immersing yourself. Smell o vision. It's yes. It's, it's this is smell o vision. Smell o vision with gaming. Smell o gaming. How much does this cost? I do not. I'm know. gonna buy this. <laughs> I do not know. Play it, smell it, fully immerse yourself. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever played a game and said, I wish you could smell that? No. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're cooking something and you're like, oh, that looks great. I want to smell what it's. He's over here eating it like, oh, I want to smell this. No. I'm, I'm just yeah. asking, I'm asking Ozzy, have you ever <laughs> played a video game and said, God, I wish I could smell that? But see, this is the, the reason why I found this interesting is because look what happened with Meta. Right, everybody thought it was going to be a great idea. We're gonna we're gonna live our lives in the metaverse. What do you hear about it? Now? It's because it's it's awful. It was a terrible rollout. Exactly. It was a terrible rollout. I see this being the same thing. I, Who the hell is going to stay at home? But here's the thing: playing video games and going, 
Here's the thing. Yeah. How does the AI know what an alien world smells like? How does an AI know what a fictional food that doesn't exist smells like? How does an AI know what a what a what a, a weeb anime girl's fart smells like? Like how would it know? It's it, it's AI and it collects millions and millions of bits of information from the internet. Where is it getting the the ingredients for the smell? This is the beginning of the Terminator movie. I understand First, that smell. If you're in a room, you're in a closet, right? It's going to take the air from a closet and it's going to generate a volcano smell, right? A volcano sulfur. What is creating that inside the box? Well, let's read on. Maybe it says it here. I don't know. So here's here here's how the article stops starts. If you ever wanted to fully immerse yourself in a game to the point where you that's not full, that's not full immersion that appear on screen. I have the project for the the product for you. Game Sense is a new product that uses AI to release scent that correlates with the gameplay on your display. In a press release, the company says that its patent pending adapter allows a device to use real time audio cues to dispense a scent, like the smell of rain during a storm or gunfire in a first person shooter, that corresponds with the game that you're playing. It's a, it's a hundred and fifty dollars, everyone. At Amazon. <laughs> As you can see in the gallery above, Game Center is a small box kit compatible with PC consoles and VR headsets. Add I can see device. this in VR. I can see yeah. the VR. A pair of the VR, I, okay, you know. As a device that can plug into either HDMI or a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. The device also are uses swappable cartridges to keep the sensory adventure going, according to the company. Of course, they have to replace card sent cartridges. Uh, but there is a clean air neutralizer that removes scents after the gaming session, so you don't have to worry about the smell of smoky explosion in your house. But, for but, okay. Oh, uh, there it is. Out of the box, game set includes scents for gunfire explosions, racing, oh, so clean it's air. It's limited to these. Forest. Storm and forest. Okay, so it's just limited to these. This isn't going anywhere. No. Some additional scents will also be available for purchase for the, in the future, a such as sports people. arena. Ooh. What does a sports arena smell like? Locker room. <laughs> And fresh cut grass. Let me tell you something right now. Let me ask you a question. Blood? What? It says blood. And and the smell of blood. <laughs> awesome. So I, I just want to make it very clear. How does smelling the blood squibs in the game do anything? Help it? I mean, if if you <laughs> if, if that's what you're looking for, you've got problems. You got bloodlust. No, you know, I just it just popped in my head. You're playing a game. There's mad blood all over. Let's say, um, Last of Us. Something crazy. Blood everywhere. Please, you've heard of some large shouting. <laughs> There's a lot of shouting going on. Shouting, we smell we, I smell blood. Oh, oh. We smell blood. Bring, bring, bring it down. No, that's what you saw. What I thought was for the smell of gunfire and explosions, freaking setting off fucking fire alarms. It's just a scent, though. It's, it's not. It's I, don't, not... I don't know. because or, or isn't it going to like. Maybe the carbon monoxide. It's going to catch something. I don't know. I don't think it's something to that effect, but I, who knows? We'll, we'll see. This what is stupid. I'd rather watch the, the, the magical world of Negroes. I just thought it was great when I saw this. I was like, oh, yeah, who wants to sit down just smelling shit? Can you, you know? imagine playing like Duke Nukem and just like... All I can see this working for is for the my beloved, my cathartic, my therapy power wash simulator. That's the only game I'd buy this for is a power wash simulator. So all you would smell would be like soap and water. Soap, water, grass, fresh cut grass, uh, explosions. I was <laughs> from the from the volcano. Oh, the one, in the one, the one and only volcano. So every time, every time I turned to the volcano, I'd smell a little bit of the or, sulfur. Or with the Back to the Future add on, maybe you're smelling the car and the exhaust of DeLorean. In the Back to the Future add on? Yeah, I the sent this to you a while ago. He never pays attention to me. I don't know. But what are you doing in the Back to the Future one? You don't, you you clean the DeLorean and Doc's garage and the the, the train. What else is there? There's a, there's a few levels. Why are we playing this anymore? He doesn't because he doesn't pay attention to me. I send it to him and he says, oh, "I yeah, saw we it." Play that. I saw and then, it. And then nothing. I saw. And then when I bring I it, up, saw we it. should do that. Uh, yeah, you. Said I that saw it. Now. We should do it, and we should get this thing and smell our way through and the game. smell our way through the game. Yeah, yes, great. but that's so we can stare at the sun, smell the sun before it crashes. Right, we'll do that. Remember to say you remember when yeah, you started playing since then. So I know you haven't. Um you've been playing so, Pokemon behind my back. Who? You heard me. I don't play Pokemon. I don't, Pal I don't I'll Pal Pal World. Um, anyways, uh Game Center is now available on Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, and GameStop currently for $149.99. Of course, if you don't want to buy it yet, but happen to be attending the PAX 
East next month, GameScent will demo the product in its booth. So if you go to PAX East next month, you can demo this. I don't care. Who invested in this? Was this an Indiegogo kind of thing? or? I'd like to know who the who these people are that did this. It doesn't say. I'm sure if we further dived into this, we could find it. But I don't really do this. Yeah, we won't do that. I'm not doing this. Oh, well, his name, I already can tell you, his the president's name is Casey Bruce. Boom, Bunce. My bad, Bunce. Bunce? Bunce. Casey, Casey Bunce. Casey Bunce. Okay, whatever. So. All right, moving on to the next topic. Next topic. So uh, at the beginning of this year, there was rumors going around that PlayStation was going to be doing a bunch of changes and misdirections and, you know, whatever. The corporations. Misdirections. About, yeah. It's, you know, it's all about magic. Um, and, um, you know, so uh, they basically had to lay off 900 employees, which is or or the equivalent of 8% of their workforce. This has also drastically canceled games and this is not the original article that i looked at so i can't i don't know where you don't know what what don't you know what i'm looking for what are you looking for this also canceled games um i don't remember which games it canceled oh well here 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 are the the playstation companies um that had to lay off wait major media and tech yeah so damn this is the biggest one Several hundred like that. <laughs> several hundred. Vice Media, several hundred. Oh, this is just listing all the people that yeah, these are all the people that oh, this has not, see, oh. now this laid off 26 people is 50% of their work. Oh god. Now this is what? What is now this? I forgot. Is it now music the music CD company? I forgot what it was. Um damn, I can't remember the games that were canceled. I there were several games that were canceled because of this. And I can't remember where I found them. All right, we can do a follow up. It's not a problem. Yeah, we can go on to that. We can this one follow sure. up on these dick. Um, family podcast. Family podcast. He was talking about uh, Richard. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Casey Buns. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll we'll do a follow up on this because I, I this is not the original article. I don't even remember where I got the original one, but yeah, it just. When I figure out what games it was, we'll we'll talk about that. Okay, sounds um, good. Uh, next topic. I don't know why they're doing this, but sure. Um, Naked Gun. If y'all remember the series with the, uh, can't remember Judd, his name. Judd? No, no, Leslie, Leslie Nielsen. Ne- Leslie, Leslie Nielsen. Nielsen. That's why I said Le- Liam Nielsen. Oh, his name is right there on the bottom. Yes, of that. Leslie, Leslie Leslie Nielsen. Nielsen. They are with re- Liam Neeson. Yeah, they are rebooting this. I get it. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Leslie Nielsen died in 2010 at the age of 84. Oh, he's dead? I didn't know that. I thought he was still alive. Um, oh, it really doesn't really really sure. tell us much. Um, oh, so it's set to release in July of 2025. Again, starting Leslie Nielsen. They really haven't put anything more to talk about with this, except for who is directing it, which is Akiva Schraffer. I don't know who it is. And apparently, it's from Paramount Pictures, which of course will eventually be streaming on Paramount Plus when uh-huh. it comes out. So yeah, that's what we got there. Um, I well, saw... why Liam ne- Liam Neeson? I don't know. He's not. I mean, I don't, is he's he not, funny? He's he can be comical, but it's super dry comedy. Like, he yeah, have, he doesn't have Leslie Nielsen's right. Like, he I don't think he pull off that. Character. Okay, he can I be mean... funny. He just can't be. I don't know. All right. Well, I, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna watch it. I don't I don't even know if I watched the originals. I know the memes from them, slapping and slapping and shaking and shaking and and uh, entering the cockpit and saying some nonsense. I know all of that. So I don't know. But we can move on. I'm I'm curious about this next one though. Huh? He's talking to a the, um, the pet. Sorry, my children. They like to do. They like to explore. They like that. They, they like to saw it. Anyways, uh, moving on to my next and final topic, and I'm sure if not, most people have heard about this. If then, I I haven't. Not, I'm curious about this. Wendy's is planning to roll out a dynamic pricing. System. This article comes from CNN.com. Yes, I like how he just keeps doing that before I could do it. Um. So. 
what this means, and just to put it, I'm going to dumb it down for everybody because I'm this guy's dumb. Um, the menu prices change depending on how busy busy the restaurant is at that moment in time. So a three dollar cheeseburger can then shoot up to eight dollars depending on how busy that restaurant is doing at that time. So what Uber does, what Uber and Lyft do, what what Uber and Lyft do, yes. Now, the reason why I had this originally titled as other restaurants are responding in turn, since this announcement has begun, Burger King, um, McDonald's, and other restaurants have been giving away free shit. That only goes to show that Wendy's happens to be the restaurant that's hemorrhaging, which is the reason why they're the only ones doing this at this point in time. <laughs> Another reason why I wanted to bring this up, because how do you do something like this and then the comedic factor of it? So according to CNN, the price of a Wendy's Frosty could fluctuate throughout the day as a chain looks to introduce Uber-like surge pricing on its menu. The practice known as dynamic pricing will begin testing in 2025. Wendy's recently revealed that in its, in its earning call, oh, this in an earnings call, is part of a 20, it's costing them $20 million to do this for brand new digital menu boards that are going to fluctuate throughout the day. $20 million. What? Anyways. Do you know how annoying that would be for the, for the, for the, for the staff? To not know how to much not you're, know to know what anything's going to cost at any given moment. Can you imagine sitting in the drive thru like <laughs> five <laughs> more minutes? <laughs> That's going to drop in price. I know it. No, no, I can see. I can see that you happened to be like second or third in line. You saw the price behind you, seven more cars coming. By the time you're ready to order, the price is doubled. And so you only had money. For for the price that was there, five minutes. So, oh my, can, you, you know what's gonna happen? People are gonna are gonna have their last twenty bucks. They know what Wendy's price is. They see it's cheaper. They're gonna get in line. It's, it's no it's, longer gonna be there. by the time they get to the window, because of however many other cars showed up, the price is gonna increase. You no longer have the twenty bucks, and now you're trapped in line. You can't order your food anymore. This is going to be every single Wendy's employee needs to quit. Yep. Because people are already shitty. Oh, They're already nasty. shitty. Now you're telling me... You, you see those videos where the people do in the drive through at McDonald's? No. They're pulling people from the windows. They're pulling them out because like they were missing a nugget or they just forgot something or the price wasn't what they looked at when they looked online. They're pulling these employees from the windows. And driving them off. They're, they're not just trying to pull them out the window. They're grabbing them and driving off. There are people... There was, there was a shootout. Somebody shot through the window at employees. Bro, there's so much crazy shit. Where the hell are you? <laughs> there's a bunch they of best life in under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> introvert, extrovert. I'm 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 lying. I'm an introvert that poses as an extrovert. That's but right. Anyways, um, I'm an introvert posing as an intro introverted introvert. He's into himself. Wait, what? Deeply into myself. Inception. <sighs> it just got weird. You need that sense, <laughs> so you can smell yourself. No. I... <laughs> No, no, you know what? I need that so I can smell the Wendy's I'm never going to buy. That's what I need. I need it for that. But yeah, this, it, it's just, it, I couldn't believe that this is actually happening. So we're going to scroll down. This can't be real. This has to be a joke. No, no, Wendy's clarified that dynamic pricing will include new menus that could offer discounts at slower times of the day, denying the company will raise prices during peak demand. So why are we calling it dynamic pricing plan. We have no plans to do that and would not raise prices when our customers are visiting us most. But uh, that's what it is. And it, it literally said when it's busier, prices are higher. Right. When it's not, and 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 here's the thing, they can just arbitrate. What if they get if if they get mandated, right? And there's a man, it's gonna happen. Corporate mandates. If you see more than three cars in, in the driveway, hike it up manually. I guarantee this was going to happen. Well, Dynamic you ever, my ass. You ever notice when you go to a fast food restaurant and you get the guys like, hey, uh, we're still making your food, but can you go ahead and pull up to the sign and then come back? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know why they're doing that? 
because they're being clocked every customer that they get. Oh, yeah. I've never worked at a fast food restaurant, so I don't know the ins and the outs of it. But I've read certain things and I read articles because I, I Google and TikTok everything. Just kidding. Um, But I know they clock each and every customer you take an order from. And, and how you long see it? it, you see it on like you ever walk in there, you see their menus that they're always looking at the, the monitors. Yeah. That that shows them what orders are. Yeah. They're always color coded because they're in within a certain time frame. Right. They're green. When it's getting a little long, it gets yellow and it's red if they're waiting too long. And the, you never want to see the red with them. That's why they're always rushing. So, and that's why they always so, forget so, your meal. So what they do is they is they if it's if it if, would it have you move off, it automatically stops that timer, or they have to stop the timer. You've left the drive through. So, but who stops the timer? The the sensor. There's a sensor the somewhere sensor by the window. That a sensor clocks it and it starts go. Oh. So when you get to the stop sign, and I probably just destroyed this for all fast food chains, but I don't care. Y'all in the wrong for doing this in the first place. Anyways, do not rush your people. It's because, called fast food, right? But how many orders have you gotten that were wrong? that were missing something, how many items were missing from your bags. And then as a fast food person, you want your shit fast right then and there when it's ready, hot. You don't want to go back. You're already pissed off because you were rushing. Because so Don't go back. Don't huh? go back. Take the loss. Take the L. And no. No, because if I want a damn smoothie or, you know, uh, sorry, McDonald's put you out there. But if I want a damn McFlurry that never comes out because your machines are always broken, which pending lawsuit still, sorry, just joking. Um, send me a few some uh McFlurry. I like Oreos. Um, I just want the caramel drip you guys put in there because I can't that caramel is delicious, and I can't find that exact caramel that you guys put inside your McFlurries. You have a caramel drip. Anyways, um, they call me caramel drop. I got a mic drop. Uh <laughs> so uh, back to the article. Uh according to Wendy's, we have no plans. Oh, wait, I read that. Uh, oh, any any features we may test in the future would be designed to benefit our customers and restaurant and restaurant crew members, which I can see them saying, no, we're not going to raise prices during peak hours. What we're going to do is we're going to lower prices and offer discounts um, when it's slow. So why would you pay for a $8 hamburger at 6 o'clock in the morning? First of all, why are you having hamburgers at 6 o'clock in the morning? Change your life. Um <laughs> Stop it. Get help. <laughs> Stop it. Click the phone number below. <laughs> Stop it. Um, <laughs> uh, Wendy said the new digital menus could be used to change the menu offerings at different times of the day and offer discounts. So I already know what's going to happen. If TikTok doesn't get banned, which do you know about that? I just I just I saw it on Yahoo. There's a legislation that just went through. So it went. They're still the trying to do that. Yeah, it went through the house and passed through the house unanimous and almost damn near unanimously. Right now, it's on its way to the Senate. See how it gets voted there. When it gets voted there, and it, it whether or not what can they the can they can they do that? Can they because it is based in China? Yes, but we get all of our stuff made in China, right? But this is just a governmental overreach and whatever they're claiming national security, but whatever. There's already if if they if they ban it, there's already so many multimillionaires that are like, I will buy over the company and we will make it American based and we will not have those back doors open for any other country. So why don't I just buy it? Why don't I just buy it now? Because China owns it. Okay, so but if China's still gonna own it if we ban it in the US. Right. But it won't be in the US, so they'll just probably make up their own US based version of it or whatever. Yeah, it was called Vine. And they and they canceled it. They got rid of Vine. They, and they got TikTok. But and then TikTok took over because TikTok originally was just like um TikTok was something else, but it wasn't like what Vine was. Oh, uh, and when Vine ended, TikTok took over. Right. But that that's what's going on right now. Um, big ups to the first web what first like and only web series and Vine, Lonely Vader, which led into the creation of Geek Bros, by the way. You guys should check that out, actually. That's as silly as it is and as old as it is, um, you should check out Lonely Vader. I'd like to revisit some of those things, actually. What? Any of those old things that you had, because I'm a comedic person. Why not? You should. You should. Um, Lonely Vader was good. It had real sound effects and real graphics. I had to get help to do the lightsabers and the lightning and all that stuff. You guys should check it out. It's an oldie. It's the original 
host, the, the artist formerly known as Juancho, and it was stupid, but it was fun. And Lightsaber Battle was corny as balls, but it was great. It was a teaser for a season two, then Vine Vine shut down, and I said to hell with it. But if you don't want to watch the, the 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 clips, you can always watch the full the full video is there. I just don't know where exactly, but it's there somewhere. Somewhere. You have to look. You gotta look for it. It's called Lonely Vader. It's coming. Check it out. It's coming in the mail. I'm pretty um, sure it's I'm pretty sure I migrated it to the Geek Bros YouTube too. I'm pretty sure. Probably I think so. I think, I it's, think it's I think it's there. But the reason why I brought up TikTok is because Tip you, TikTok. 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 He said TikTok. TikTok. The reason why I brought up TikTok is because you already know if it does not get banned. Right. This doesn't go through and they keep they keep fighting a good fight till next year. Once this starts rolling out, you know damn well there are going to be people with their phones and their TikTok, like I'm going over here, check this out, check this out. They're they're gonna be the proof in the pudding. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be one of them. Right. And they're gonna absolutely be, gonna be one of them. So I need you freedom fighters out there. I need y'all TikTokers. TikTokers and, I need your TikTokers. and whatever, whatever and your, and your tip toppers and your shot callers. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention because we're gonna need you to 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 get to, to get on this. <laughs> oh fuck my life! I can't. I can't. <laughs> These are shot callers. <laughs> oh, that's that three W stuff right there. Oh man. So. Oh god. So here we go. Uh, Wendy's new digital menus. Okay. Uh, the, the menus first shown in the mock-up of a redesigned menu unveiled a 2022 featured new pickup windows, a more technology techno I can't even, technologically advanced kitchen, <laughs> and a spruced up interior. The menus ha have already rolled out. Why are we talking about these old ass ones? We don't care. Oh look, and hit TikTok was just announced here with some TikTok users showing them powered by automated voice. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Checkers okay. does that same thing too. You what? roll up to the to the speaker uh -huh. and it's automated. There's, you don't hear there's nobody there anymore. There's, there's there's people there, but they're listening. They're not saying anything though. And you'll get the automated. Like I've done it. It's happened to me at a checkers. I was completely confused on what the hell was going on. Hello, welcome to Wendy's. Hi, how are you doing? Uh can I get a number one? What would you like today? Can I get a number one? Uh yeah, a number one. Uh and, and it's oh a number one a number one would you like fries with that what size fries would you like why are you talking like that <laughs> I totally thought it was a person and it really was not <laughs> I am sorry I do why are you understand. talking like that <laughs> what is happening I'm sorry I did not understand your inquiry what who is this and then and then all of a sudden you hear that oh yeah what's going on <laughs> oh thank you a human being. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Stop it. That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, what's, what's going on? You all right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know what? what? I should just what, shoot my own thing. What's, what's your order, shot caller? The drive through <laughs> blues. I don't need a lot of drive through but the few times that I do, it's always crazy. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? Why? Why are you talking about it? Who is this? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> oh god okay i can't my 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 chat i have I'm, I'm fasting i'm hungry now like i can't I, it's too much too much core I'm, work i'm killing him so all right so we're just gonna end that uh right there yeah the dynamic price we are gonna follow up with this dynamic price because this is a joke but i love this automated thing i've got to go to a checkers tonight i'm going to checkers tonight because the checkers are right across the street i gotta check this out i gotta check out checkers i, I don't even like checkers it's too greasy yeah but it happens all right, we're going to move on to the cure for your coming day. We're going to blow through this because this episode is longer than I expected. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you know, when we get together, we get together. So, um, all right. Avatar, The Last Airbender, the Netflix live action hot take. I finished the entire series. Okay. So. I'm halfway through. So, uh, you know, the world's only, the world's only hope is, is. The Avatar, the only one who can master all four elements when the Avatar returns 100 years later. A young airbender named Aang is, it's up to him to save the world from the Fire Nation and bring balance to the world. The Last Jedi. Um, how far have you gone so far? I'm halfway through this. You're halfway through the season. You have a three episode rule. And I remember texting you saying, this is not passing the three episode rule, which is you give it three episodes and you know whether you like it or not. It took me, I think, 
a week and a half to watch three episodes because I just couldn't watch it. I had to it had to be a couple of days apart because it was just um it was only it was only it's only marginally better than the M, M. Night Shyamalan uh the movie. movie. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, it's only marginally better. Mm -hmm. And by marginally, I mean the graphics, I mean the, the 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 special effects, I mean slightly the acting, I mean slightly the, the the adaptation of the world and the story. It is only slightly better than M Night Shyamalan. I honestly, honestly, am not enjoying, or did not enjoy this season at all. The acting was was kind of poor. The I hated. Spoiler alert! I hated uh, what they did with Ang's. Um, what's it, what you call it? His motivation for leaving. He just took a stroll, and now they're blaming me. It's your fault. M Mfr! I I just took a stroll. I just happened to get into a rainstorm. I didn't run away. I, it just it just happened. I hate that change. I will say, spoiler alert: the opening scene of of when they, when they order sixty six the Airbenders mm -hmm. that was hot. Yeah, but that was the only hot thing that they that they did. So. I never, <clears throat> I never watched the animated show. I and I, that's why I touched bases with it or whatever. I didn't really actually fully pay attention to it because when I was watching it, I was adequately younger, so I didn't really care. Um, I'll probably jump on it now so I can see the difference between what's going on and, mm -hmm. and what have you. I hated the movie. I'm just gonna say that right now. I hated the movie. Um, and as somebody who's just now sucking in the sucking in, sucking off, sucking in, sucking, <laughs> sucking take, off the take, avatar. Take, 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 he's taking it all, by the way. He's taking all of the avatar. <laughs> he's taking it all in. The avatar dumb. Um, I my hot take for the four episodes that I've watched, I cannot say that I am ready for season two and three. Which, by the way, it has been red or uh, uh, green flag, red green flag. lit, green lit, red. Green I said, lit. I said red flag. He's a green flag. I said red flag. He went green lit, green lit for seasons two and three. Supposedly, that's going to close out Ang's story. Oh um, God! If they go to core, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot myself. The, well, the funny thing is, the symbols for the next two seasons, I think, were Earth. Well, yeah, that's how it was. Book of, book of. All the books are all different different elements. Yeah. So yeah, that makes sense. That's um, how the cartoon was too. The cartoon was only three seasons too. Really? Yeah. The original one, not not the Legend of Korra, which which I don't was... care for Korra. I I didn't. I saw three episodes of that, and I was just like, I don't I don't like this. Yeah, she's she's not she's nothing endearing about her at all. What are you looking for? What are you what are you looking at? That's that, that's what they have here. Yeah. So Earth and then fire. Yeah. Um. So... Wind. Water heart with your powers combined. I am Captain Planet. He's our hero. Gonna He's something down, down to zero. zero. He's so, the whatever. I feel like you black, know what you black know, magic. You know what I feel like we are right now? Um bad boys for life. Anyways, so <laughs> you gotta say you gotta know the words of the song. Um, so having four episodes in, there's mm -hmm. only four more left. Uh, I'll probably finish the season. I'm just not, I don't care for it at this point. Like it, it first of all, I don't like any of the acting. Exactly. It's, but, but it's serious, man. I'm just getting on my nerves though. Cause I loved Avatar. It, but the acting is no better. It's only, sorry. It's only marginally better. Than than M Night Shyamalan, I think Ang is only is only is is significant is slightly less cringy in this than he was as the little bald white boy in in in, in the M Night Shyamalan in the movie. Yeah, I didn't like the movie regardless. So you're... that's what I'm saying. I just I don't I don't I don't get. I think that uh, insert random Indian guy here as uh, Suko was better in. In M. Night Shyamalan, I felt his menace more than this than this kid who's kind of like, I, I just, I'm not, there's nothing intimidating about him. I don't even remember. That's how much I hated that movie. I don't even remember. I used to watch hate, hate watch reviews of it. So that's why I remember a lot about it. You know? Yeah, I saw it like maybe once or twice and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing to myself. Yeah. I just, I just don't, I mean, <clears throat> they, they, they got the, um, well, the end a little bit better than the movie did. At least the end, because the, the movie's covering the same amount as, as the Netflix show. But it was still rushed. 
Um, the only thing I liked was was Suki. S Suki? The I sister? Don't, no. Suki. I think that was the um the fighter chick? Yeah. In the in I liked her acting. She's beautiful, yeah, by she the way. Very attractive. She is beautiful. And I love all the memes when they say I'm watching Avatar for the plot, and it's just pictures of her. I just want to make sure she's old enough. That to say she's beautiful? Yeah. We're allowed to remember. I mean, we talked about this, and you said that you don't want to get into this. I don't want to though. jump into the to the to the hole that you guys keep jumping into. Wasn't a hole there. Th listen, when w tell me it's not a it's not a a, a trap a, uh, a what's it called when you, when you get when you get set up hole? when you get set up by by police. Oh, uh... oh my god! Entrapment. Entrapment. I just entrapment. Why would you cast? 18 and above attractive actresses or actors, whatever, to play minors in movies. So we we are attracted to the women and we know subconsciously that they are above age. We're watching a movie where they are playing younger. You're you're messing with our heads. Come on, bro. I'm just saying. How old is she? Wait, what are you looking That's at? That's who, right? That's not her. Okay, I was going to say, because you said Suki that's, and that's oh, said oh, Suki there. That's not... That's not Suki. Okay, but yeah, that woman's 50 years old. <laughs> okay, you're looking at the cartoon because Mark Hamill's in there. He was the voice of Ozai in the in the cartoon. You're in the cartoon. Bad, bro. Okay, I got it now. <laughs> it is Suki. My bad, bro. And here's the thing. Sokka is just making out with everybody. Like, okay. How old is she? 24. Good God, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. Woo! Polish. She's Polish? Well, she's Chinese and Polish. And she's my height. I got a chance, everybody. I got a chance. I got a chance. Okay. I don't got a chance? I, I You're never going to cross circles with her, I guess. You have no idea. I'm in, I'm in the business. Okay? That's her page. I, see, I can't follow her page. I'm not allowed to follow Thirst I Crafts. I know. So I can't follow her you're, page. You're such a thirsty person, bro. I, I was. I'm trying to get over that. I'm trying to change. Trying to find. I just don't care. Of what? I like. I like antagonizing his thirst traps. <laughs> She's beautiful. He likes, anyway, he likes Asians. I just <laughs> put must put me out there like that. Anywho, so what, what did you think? Uh, last last, I already told him I, I I I didn't fancy it. I like I said. I I'm four episodes and I'm halfway through this season. Mm -hmm. I'm not intrigued. My interest is not. Peaked. It's not there. There's nothing there. I don't care. And and, and and Ozai. Yeah. They didn't do a good job. They didn't intimidate. Is that, see, you would understand because in season one, they didn't show him like that. He was like a big hulking figure in, in, in with a black with a black silhouette. Like he was a menacing, like off camera, like menace. They never showed him. So they're showing the guy, don't get me wrong, he looks better than the guy they, that, that was in like Shyamalan, trust me. But still, they shouldn't have shown him. They should have left it because he was supposed to be menacing. He was supposed to be that unseen future Evil villain. Person. Yeah. And he didn't seem that menacing to me. And oh my God. What's his name's sister? Um oh my god. Did you see she she she, she appeared, right? What's his what's his name? Uh, Zuko's sister. Oh, uh um crazy, crazy chick. The actress is awful. Azula. Azula's awful. She's not cute, though. Forget about not being cute. It's nothing. Yeah, you know, it's nothing about being cute. She, her act. She's not menacing. She doesn't seem crazy at all. Her friends, um, the one who's supposed to be like the, the assassin, assassin is a body positivity Asian. That's not how is she supposed to be the assassin with with all lanky and stuff. And all I can say is they really wanted to cast Asians, and th so they found who they could find. Probably that's the only I can think about. It. And this is what what ha what happens when you pigeonhole yourself to to be that accurate. Because I'm telling you, they could they should have been able to find better actresses that not only looked the part but could actually like act the part. You have three seasons of of a show that you could that you could rely on, and you could work with. But see, that that's why I said the acting was horrible this season. Like I just, I, it doesn't grasp me. Like I don't. And Sokka is awful. Yeah. Sokka's awful, and he looks so weird. And the thing is, I remember Sokka in the animated. Yeah. Being overly animated. Overly animated. But this one looks like he's trying way too hard to be overly animated. He's trying it all. 
You when is he be? Him? When is he trying to be over animated? I don't ever see any over animation in in him. It's very dry. It's awful, and it's, it, no, no, it it's awful. no better than it's no better than M Night Shyamalan's guy, the guy who played. No, no, whatsoever. It's just so no, nothing right. with you ever. It's it's terrible. Anyway, so I'm gonna move on to next hop Tokyo Revengers season one. That is my my new thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go to season two, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay. Uh, Tama 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 Michi, there we go. Is a 26 year old uh guy. He learns one day that his middle school ex girlfriend Hinata, as well as her younger brother Naoto, have been killed by the Tokyo Manji gang. Naoto deduces that every time they hold hands, Tama Tamamichi is transported 12 years into the past. So that's basically what it was. Is that he had this is like his law his his big love from junior high school. She dies in a as collateral damage in a gang war. He's upset, meets the brother, shakes the brother's hand, and it sends them back into the past somehow. They I, they've never explained how that how that mechanic works. And he goes back, and it's basically butterfly effect. He learns what happened, so he's like, okay, the the the, the um the Tokyo Manji gang is who kills him. So I'm gonna find out who who in junior high school started it, mess with them, so it doesn't end up happening. He goes back to the future uh, by shaking the, the younger brother's hand in the past. Sees what he what he the mistakes things are either better or worse. He's gonna go back and, and try and fix it and back and forth and back and forth. The first season is great when it's just about him trying to save the girl and then maybe save one of his friends because it, there's a plot twist that one of his friends is the one that tried to kill him and tried to kill her. Like it's it's kind of cool. Here's the problem. Here's where it gets gets to it. It's junior high school kids. Okay, it's a bunch of violent crybaby junior high school kids. They're either trying to kill each other or they're always crying about something. It is crazy. This now, is this is animated. Okay. And it's very, it's very, very, very melodramatic. And I, I could stand it for the first season, but the second season, I realized it's just gonna be more of the same. And then when I started watching the second season, mind you, I did love the first season. I love the concept, but now I'm kind of burnt out. All I started yelling at the screen is, where are the police? <laughs> Oh, and then does this have a uh 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 what? what what was the name of the show that we uh, uh Power Rangers? I don't know. Oh, the karate kid show. A Cobra Kai? Cobra Kai. Exactly. It's, Cobra Kai it's not a Cobra Kai, <laughs> yeah. But it, but at least Cobra Kai, the parents were involved. Where are all the parents of all these kids that are stabbing each other? At some point, they're beating each other where they have to put where they're going to the hospital. They're getting stabbed and going to the hospital. You know who's visiting them at the hospital? The other junior high school kids. You'll see a kid who got his ass kicked two episodes later, patches and bruises and everything. And I'm like, where's your parents? If you had a son and he had his ass kicked to the point where he was hospitalized, I'd see him. You'd see him. Yeah. But would you let him roam the streets by himself and with crutches two days afterwards? You'd say, what's going on? You're grounded. Stay here. It's clearly dangerous out there. Where are the parents? Maybe they're all open. It's, it's the craziest thing. Where are the parents? Where are the parents in this show? And so now, as much as I like the novelty of season one, now season two, I'm getting irked. Because A, you're violent as hell. One kid committed, committed suicide so the other kid wouldn't get blamed for killing him. These are all junior high school kids, junior high school gang members beating the snot out of each other. Where are the cops? Where are the parents? So because I'm, this is where I am now in season two, I can't stand it. But season one, it's great. I loved it. And uh, I don't think I'm going to continue to season two because, again, I'm burnt out with the whole. Because what I realize I like more is he spends a lot of time in the past. So let's say it's 20 episodes, 16 episodes in the past. Maybe three or four in the present, so you only get to see what he's what he's adjusted every like six or seven episodes. So you have to go through six or seven episodes of all I want is just to be friends forever, and and but I'm gonna kick your ass and you're all gonna die. But why? Why must you do this and fight each other? And it got kind of annoying after a while. I think you like season one, the novelty of it, but after a while, you're realizing that this is way too melodramatic and way too violent. Either stick with one tone. Either they're all violent as shit or they're all crybabies. But how can they be violent as shit and eat everybody crybabies? Well, first, when the when the main character was, was all weepy-eyed, I get it. Because he's 
he's back there. He's trying to change things. But then, then all the other heavy macho, and I use the term macho sparingly for junior high school kids. <laughs> the heavy macho kids are like crying. I leave this this group to you, or all I want to do is. Everybody's crying now. Everybody cries. I'm not against crying. I'm just against it. Everybody crying in every episode. So that's 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 Tokyo Revengers. It's on Crunchyroll. That's where I'm watching it. And season two is on Hulu. I'm watching it in dub because I don't have the patience to watch subbed. And I'm pretty sure I might have, I might like it better if it was subbed. But I just don't have patience to read the screen anymore. So that's 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 that. And we're gonna move on to Dune Part Two. Hot take. You didn't see the movie yet. And all I can say is. Yes. I heard it's amazing. Yes, more please. They're yes. Out. He is doing a part three. Yes. And that's going to close out. Right. That yeah. guy's sort. Yes. Thank you, Daddy, some more. Yes. Watch this thing in, in IMAX because it was amazing. I went to, to a 10.45 at night show. I got back home at 2 in the morning. I had to wake up at, three, at uh, four hours later. I didn't care. The movie was worth it. I have to watch it again because it's so dense that you have to pay attention. You can't really think. You got to pay attention because the story is so dense. I want to watch it again now so I can actually enjoy the story and start picking up on the nuances that are that are there. There's a lot of lot of subtext that you didn't get. And for whatever reason, Zendaya, I love me a sandy, dirty Zendaya. I'm sorry. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. And she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Her acting, I have to agree, wasn't the best in some scenes. But Absolutely. Zendaya with blue eyes forever. What? You're not attracted to Zendaya? No. You don't think Zendaya is attractive? No. She's cute, but nothing. To... She's slamming hot. And she's of age, by the way. We actually, because because uh, Google, she's 20, 27 or something. Super over the edge. No, not my type. Really? Well, you know me. I like those lanky, like. Yeah, you like them stringy. Yeah, I don't. I like I, don't, I, don't I like, like I like string beans. I don't. I don't. You. I know you like them. The big, uh, big, bold, and beautiful. I yeah. get it. I don't. I don't like feeling like I'm crushing. No. Well, that's, definitely... that's, that's because you're you're a, you're a big man. I, you know, I'm 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 leaning out to, to to try and earn my string bean woman. I don't like string. Beans. I like string beans. I, I I just you know. I like to eat string beans. I know. I, I know. Beans. I know you do. You want to string string to sit on your face? <laughs> Whoa! Family podcast. What's going on? No, but but I think she, I think she's beautiful. But the movie itself was great. I don't like Timothy Oliphant or whatever his Charlemagne. name is. Uh, Char I don't like Charlemagne, the Charlemagne the God, uh, Charlemagne. Charlemagne the God, whatever. I don't give him a Shamanon. I don't like Shamanon. Timothy Chalamet. I'm not really a fan of his, but he's he he kicks ass in both of these movies. Kicks all the ass in these movies and. The fighting and the new the new villain was really intense. They did Austin they, Butler. Yes, and they did a they did a Thor a Thor four kind of thing where it was like a particular part of the, of the place is all muted in gray. I was like, yeah, yeah, they did that on purpose. Did they? Mm -hmm. But really, mm -hmm. because of Thor four? No, not because of Thor four. Okay. The the so I watch a lot of late night talk shows. Okay. Like Stephen Colbert, Daily Show, all that. That stuff. explains a lot. Bill Maher. Um, really so, explains a lot. So uh, the director Denis Villeneuve, the French guy, Villeneuve. Um, he actually spoke about that that part where they they shot it in black and white, and what they did was they shot it in infrared. Wow! And the cin 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 cinematographer. I see I got it at the end. Cinematographer told him, you know, let's do the scene here. However, if we do it here like this, there's no coming back. We'd have to reshoot the whole damn thing in color. Can I put the color in? You can take it out. So um that's the, the effect was done on purpose. Yeah. Um when I went to to the University of Southern California, uh there's a way to get like this golden glossy view out of your camera. It, it, it's if you white balance the camera to blue. Right, if you white balance it to blue, then everything looks all like golden and flex and nice. Mm -hmm. You could do that as an auto color, right? And I, I knew when I was shooting my 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 student film, I knew that this scene where where my protagonist was going up the stairs and meeting the girl of his dreams, it had to be shot like this, and this is what I wanted. I white balanced it to to, to blue, and I remember that the 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 professors, I got like a like a like a thumbs up. 
a thumbs up and a thumbs down. Two of the professors were, were really impressed. They said, we respect a director that knows that's how he wants his shot to look, period, no mm -hmm. matter what. Not later on in post saying, you know what? I'd like to put a gold sheen on that. It, you know what I'm saying? And the other one was like, yeah, you could have just done that in post. What if what if it doesn't work out anymore? You're screwed. But, you know, it's it's a stylistic choice. And you have to respect the director that says, I know this is how I want this to look, no matter how it is, how it's edited. But we're going to shoot it like that for that purpose only. That's impressive. That's impressive. I thought they really did just put a black and white filter over it. No, they, they Like I do. They shot Anytime it. I put black and white. It's just a filter I put over the video. I don't shoot it in black and white. No, they shot it like that on purpose. And he also mentioned that the... And it was beautiful. The language that they spoke is 100% completely made up. Yeah, they have these linguists that make up fake languages. And and and, and that's cool. They had them in school, like all the actors learning how to do this. Like they went full on. Oh, like, God. This, fake language. this is why I'm too lazy to be an actor. I'm, then, I mean, I have no talent. Don't get me wrong. But and they, if I did have talent. They said that... Uh, the, the linguist like they shot certain certain shots or whatever and the linguist were like oh everything was great you know or the the director he was like oh everything was great you know anybody have any takes and the linguist come over like actually that accent on it no it's a fake language bro <laughs> back up <laughs> well but you know what these linguists though i hear they get when they create language they really own it they, like, like like and they and you're gonna do it right mm -hmm. you know that's their that's like their mini culture their mini thing so that yeah i i get it i get it yeah the, so it was the beautiful amount of, the amount of effort and time it put into this movie this movie deserves everything that it got it. I hope it, I hope it goes over a billion dollars. I don't know if it has already or not. This movie needs to be watched because it's so good. And it's better than anything else that's, that's come out in a long, long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since something, something good like this came out. You know, good. Not, not culturally changing. No, good. With a vision, with a purpose, with a story. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it's up there. Currently at 190 million. That's the budget. Oh, but, but, but yes, the budget. What's what's the what's the box office? Put box office. But the movie was good. It has a vision. It has a voice. And I can't wait for part part three. I need part three to happen. When is part three happening? Three hundred sixty-seven point five million worldwide. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's just in three days. No, I'm sorry. it hasn't been three days. I, I don't, it's I been a week now. I forgot what today was. It's been a week. I saw it last. last, last it's gonna be a week yeah. soon. I saw it last. I saw it two weeks. Uh, not last week and the weekend before. It's been over a week. Yeah, there it is. Three three sixty nine point six million in ten days. That's great, but that's two days ago. Oh, that's two days ago. I hope it gets to a billion. Anyway, so uh, so that's it. I I vibe approved. I'm gonna watch it again. Maybe with this guy, if I can get him to come out. If not. I'll take the offspring because try. because uh, he has to watch part one though, and I'll, I'll watch part one again. I absolutely will. And to, it's it's so good that I'm now watching Dune lore videos on YouTube. Let's look at it like that. I'm diving deep into the into. I'm all about the something 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 jihad, the war against the machines they had uh, thousands of years before Dune starts. Which I hope the Butlerian jihad. I hope they do that prequel movie. It's about a war against the machines. Um, and back when when Earth actually existed, before Earth was completely glassed, hmm. which explains why. So Earth existed in the past, but the the, the machines, the AIs, they took over and they kind of did. Do you know anything about Star Trek? Mm -hmm. Do you know about the um the augments? The augments they were it's it's a it's in the history. They are genetically enhanced uh, humans. They got super smart and they took over parts of the of, of the of the of the Earth. And then they all started war with each other, and that became the Augment War, which, which led into World War Three, which completely destroyed, you know, pretty much the world. And they started over again when, when the Vulcans came, kind of like that. They create these AIs, but it's like if Google created an AI, Apple created an AI, and then they all became self-aware, and it began like warring with each other, and then also then also becoming like a group together. And it was one big gigantic AI that was important. And so it was it was the the, the Dune lore is dense. Okay, it's very dense. Anywho, uh, and don't don't I just got into this guy, so don't 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 hate at me. So uh, that's about it. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up here because this is a long episode, and my computer is not gonna be able to render this at all. Uh, Shameless promotions before we move on, man, man. Where can I find you? I am man, man, seventeen zero ninety three everywhere on the Snapchatters, on the Twitters or Xers, um, YouTube, Facebook, IG. Uh, what's that other one? No, all of them. Yeah, all of them. Everywhere you want to be. Everywhere. Of course, I'm Vibrev Studios, V I B E R E V S T U D I O S. Uh Snapchat, tick no, not TikTok. Snapchat. <laughs> uh, uh I did get banned. And I'm never gonna try again. You know what? I hope 
I hope they 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 kick TikTok out of the US. Shoot. Anyway, um V I B E R E V S T U D I O S. That's uh Instagram, Twitter, uh Facebook, of course, dot com. That's where everything is there. Even though I haven't updated that website in forever. I don't even know if it's still active. I probably need to turn back on the 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 money up for that. You know, you know, the whatever, because I whatever, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. Um, of course you can find us. Geek Bros, just G-E-E-K-B-R-0-S on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, uh, Geek Bros with a zero at yahoo.com. Email us. I don't know if, if this man is checking the emails. I surely am not. But we but we will. Give us a comment on one of our pages. Say, hey, I sent you an email. And we'll, we'll look for it and respond. Um, Facebook.com, just Geek Bros with a zero. Don't forget that WeBeGeeksPC.com is the first place. First place. To check out this, to check out this podcast whenever we record. And of course, youtube.com slash at geekbros of the zero. That's youtube.com slash at G-E-K-B-R-Z-R-S for the entire library of the Geek Bros, past, present, and future, because the only thing that is more con more consistent than our inconsistency is my face over the last five, six years. Check that out. That's it for keeping the Geek Bros podcast. And remember, geeking out still sounds this good. Keeping up with the Geek Bros.